Christian Harloff, joined once again by Jen Sturger. Hello, Jen. Great to be back. Good to have you back. And someone who's finally got the steam off. You're, you're very upset about the, about maybe leaving a little earlier. Ken Napsok is here. Glad to be here. Jennifer, hello. Oh, Glad to see you again. Uh, yes. How did you get in here? Uh, well, uh, by contract. You guys cannot keep me out of the announcer's booth. Right. Uh, I am actually uh, happy with my performance. Uh, you played but well. I, 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 it, it re-inspired my, myself. Yeah. I'm inspired by myself look, after what I did. Look, 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 you and I have not seen eye to eye for a while here. But what <laughs> I, what, decades, yes. For a while. But what I will tell you, though, is that not only did you play great in this, you played great in that Shire Wolves match. Mm. People yeah. need to give you a little bit more credit as a player. Not as a person. But as a player, I'll take that. All right. All right. So here is how it stands, ladies and gentlemen. We've gone through a ton of competitors. Mark Ellis was the 27th competitor to come out. Rachel Cushing and Drew McQueenie have been eliminated. And we start the new table with Mark Andreco, Mark Ellis, and William Bibiani. And it is the same rules as the previous video. Every round, the competitors will get five questions worth one point apiece, 15 seconds to answer the question. If the lowest amount of points will be eliminated, and if you are whoever has the most points will be off the table and new competitors will enter. Hey, Christian, do any of the uh, crowd members like vegetables? Who's ready to rock? Let's do this. Mark Ellis, plants. Very pandering. Happy. It's so pandering. much pandering. Yeah. Well, pandering. He has to. I mean, look, he's got to feel good. I mean, Drew McQueenie and Rachel Cushing, he, this table did, Fresh off a, flight, did a lot of the competitors. You got to eat your carrots, kids. It's All right, healthy. Guys, <laughs> so we're going to keep this thing going. Our next competitor representing the league. He is the 2017 Ultimate Schmodown semi finalist, Mike. Finally back here. Absolutely. I didn't know you had an identical twin. Oh, oh, Mark and Draco like with Joe. See that? Because he's, oh, he's, he's classic what a white. Table. I'm like, look at this. I've never fought you guys on the table. This is lovely. What are, what are, what are, what are, All right. What are he's coming in here like oh, a truck, gentlemen. All right. <laughs> and their next opponent, <laughs> representing <laughs> Silver <laughs> Pictures. <laughs> 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 I've never heard of either of these guys you just brought to the table. All right, All right here we go, Jen. Very first question comes from the category of Oscars. Mm -hmm. Who won a Best Actor Oscar for playing a role that was originally played by Brian Cox in 1986's Manhunter? Mm. Should I repeat that one for them? No, I think they got it. No, they okay. got it. They're scribbling. Okay. Do you like anybody up there? Five, uh, yeah, I like that Brett. Four. Brett. Three. Oh, what a jerk. Two. Two. One. one. Ethan. Tony Hopkins. Yeah, that's correct. Mike. Anthony Hopkins? Correct. Mark. Anthony Hopkins. Ellis. I call him Sir Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> How weird would it be if I got this wrong? It's Anthony Hopkins. You got it. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Your next question. Your next question comes in the category of new releases. Who lends his voice to the character of Ferdinand the Bull in the animated film Ferdinand? I, uh, Glad uh, that one didn't come my way. No, you wouldn't have gotten it? No. I'm surprised. I don't like Five. this Ethan guy. I don't like the cut of his jib. Four, <laughs> three, <F> fair. Two, <laughs> one, pens down. Kalinowski. John Leguizamo? Incorrect. And Draco? I was going to say Nick Jonas. No. Is Ellis. it Wrestling's John Cena? Correct. Bibbs. <laughs> Wrestling's John Cena. And Ethan. John, John Cena. Cena. I am left handed, All by right. the way. Yeah. I apologize yeah. for my. Ethan Irwin <laughs> has two. Kalinowski one, and Draco one, Ellis two, and Bibiani two. Next category, gentlemen's classics. Mm -hmm. This actress played the character of Maria in the 1965 Rodgers and Hammerstein musical, The Sound of Music. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Corrections made there. <laughs> it's been a pretty interesting match so Five. far. It has been four, three. The star power has been incredible. Two, Two one. Pens down and Mark Andreco singing and dancing while he writes. Julie Andrews. Correct. Ellis. Uh, Valparaiso, Ohio, and Hartford. <laughs> you get tickets at markellislive.com. Uh, Bibbs. Julie Andrews. Correct. Ooh. Ethan. 
Julie Andrews. Correct. Kalinowski. Julie Andrews. All right. That's how you sell it. That's how you sell it. Draco and Ellis. That's what I'm saying. Erwin, <laughs> Erwin and Bibiani, both with three. I literally heard Maria, and I tuned out because I thought it was a West Side Story. Next question here, Jen. Like, Next question comes from the category of Cameron Diaz. Jesus. She, she, I'm sorry. Is she a sponsor? She is prolific. <laughs> Cameron Diaz stars with Tom Cruise in this 2010 action film directed by James Mangold. We, we don't need to know directly. Everybody, well, everybody knows. Everyone. Mike, Mike Kalinowski has not fire. moved that quick in his Five, life. Yeah. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down, please. And uh, Mark Ellis. Uh, that'd be uh, the classic written by the cartoon cat, Night and Day. That's correct. <laughs> Mike, uh, Bibiani, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Night and Day. Correct. Ethan. Night and day. Kalinowski. Night and day. And Mark and Drake. Okay, and so All right. wow. Irwin has four. It's horrible. Bibiani, four. Oh, Kalinowski, Ellison, and Draco on the verge, wow. depending on what wow. happens here. <laughs> can, this is interesting. We're going to have a clean here sweep. All right. Terrifying. Final question this round comes in the category of Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. The entire catalog's on the board. Sandra Bullock stars opposite Tate Donovan as two scientists who experiment with a substance that makes them irresistible to anyone who hears them speak in what 1992 rom-com? Uh, it also sums up my radio career. Yeah, yeah I'll played tell you good. What, what it sums up is this is going to be very interesting. Why do we all know this? Five, four, <laughs> three, two, two, one. Bibs. They both start in a movie called Love Potion Number Nine. Irwin. Love Potion Number Nine. Kalinowski. Love Potion Number Nine. And Draco. Love uh, Ellis? Love potion oh. number and nine. And with that, Mike Kalinowski, Mark Andrejko, and Mark Ellis have been eliminated. Unbelievable. Oh, that shit. is quite a with clearing of the deck. Wow, wow. Bibiani is still on the table. He wow. finally gets revenge on Andrejko. So, oh, yeah. no, he's cool. Uh, I, got a, I got revenge on him the first time we played. Wow. Oh, and <laughs> I feel wow. like that table could have gone out Does a anybody while. know which gate Phoenix is connecting out of? <laughs> I said 55A, 55A. Ethan Irwin and Bibiani going head to head. This is wow. new blood so, versus the old school safe, here. All right. That's, uh, that's what so happens sometimes. Three people you coming in. Three people <laughs> coming in here. And their next opponent, representing Hyper RPG, Adam Hollander. <laughs> Just said, if anyone's had bad luck, and the, it's, it's Halavik. He's yeah. very knowledgeable. Just, he's, he's, he is the, the doomsday person of the yeah. five-point question, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, here we go. Our next opponent. Representing. Watch out! Watch out! Team action! That's great. Yeah. 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 coming yeah. in. I don't well, know. I got to get the right A2. Yep. There's a reaction. <laughs> he's got yeah. something. He's doing something. He's got oh, something no. going on in the case. Got oh, some jam. All right. Yeah. Oh, no. Can I? Oh, he's putting down his. I found my best friend. <laughs> All right. There you go. It, can so. I go drink with him? Is, can I do that now? Maybe. Or? You're going to take a drink every time you go. Jameson is new partner since he's gone. And the final person of the desk this round. Representing the Wildberries! <laughs> he is Elliot the Mountain! He's ready. He is ready to go. <laughs> Dewberry and Dewberry and Bibbs have history for sure, and we are going to get into this. The Wildberries finally making their stamp here as the boss, Adam, Ethan, and Bibbs. We're going to continue it here in the realm of Julia Roberts. Wildberries! Wildberries! <laughs> that shouldn't be allowed. That shouldn't be allowed. No. Shirt's now available. All right, Julia Roberts plays mom to Jacob Tremblay in this 2017 tearjerker. Is that, they made more movies after Pretty Woman with her, right? They did. You've never mm -hmm. seen a one, huh? Nah. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Ethan. Wonder. Correct. Ben. Wonder. Correct. Elliot. Wonder. Adam. Yes. Wonder. And wow. Bibbs. Wonder, wonder, wonder. Yeah. All right, look at that. Please Jen, look across Jen, the board. Jen. Oh, Jen. Next question comes from the category of dramas. Who plays love interest to Hawkeye, Cora Monroe, in The Last of the Mohicans? You knew that one. <laughs> I, I, I feel I should have asked that one. Five. I know. It's all right. Don't worry about it. That looks like it hurt you. Three. Two. It hurts that you get to marry that person. One. And Ben. Madeline Stowe. Correct. Elliot. Julia Roberts? Nope. And uh, Adam. Who knows? Because uh, I don't. Bibbs. I spaced on their last name. And Ethan. Madeline Stowe. Madeline Stowe. Ethan Irwin. Right, yeah. right now. That's, uh, Ethan. Great and, question. Yeah, great question. Ethan and Bateman here both got that one right. Uh, Adam as, got it right. Adam got it right. Can I, uh, Madeline Stowe, if you're watching, it's been a long time. I know I've been a big fan for a while. Uh, I, I just want to thank you for your career. Bad Girls, I still one of my favorite Ken, movies. Nothing's happening with that mustache. Uh, oh. I'm younger than Brian Ben Ben, if that helps. Uh, but he's nicer. Uh, that's true. All right, All right, next question comes in the category of thriller. Thriller. Who plays Jason Bateman's wife, Robin, in the psychological horror thriller, The Gift? Everybody likes horror. You shut up. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Dewberry. Uh, just she was an English English actress. That's <laughs> no, English actress doesn't count. Adam. Rebecca Hall. That's Correct. right. Fifth. Rebecca Hall. Yep. That's right. Ethan. Rebecca Hall. That's and right. Ben. I got nothing. Nothing. Oh wow. Nothing. All so right. Irwin, Bateman, Halavik, and Bibiani tied, but Irwin still Irwin. He, he has not missed. <laughs> Irwin has not missed at all. Has not missed since he's come in. Wow. Irwin has not missed. All right. <sighs> Horror films. Okay. Here we go, guys. In the 1980s, The Shining, Danny receives a horrifying vision of an elevator which is full of what? I mean... I cry in most elevator rides. Full of wild berries! Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Adam. Blood. Correct. Bibbs. Delicious blood. Ethan. <laughs> My favorite bodily fluid blood. And Ben. Blood. That's your favorite? Dude, blood. I, was, I <laughs> thought this blood. would be like a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we come down to the final question here, and it gets a little scary. Irwin's safe, but it gets scary for Bateman, Adam, and Bibiani here, depending on what Dewberry does. Last question here. Ooh. This is for Jen, right? Jen, you got it. Yep. Oh, Bibbs is going to love this category. Okay. I know. I was just about to say that. Hmm. The next question comes from the category Festival Darlings. Oh, oh you're a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. In the John Carroll Lynch film Lucky, who plays the titular character Lucky? And five, four, three, two, one. Bibbs. Harry Dean Stanton? Correct. Urban. Ethan. Nah, don't get it. Didn't have it. Whoa. David. Ooh. First miss. Harry Dean Stanton. Yes. Yeah! Hey, fuck yeah! Paris, Texas. No. <laughs> he was in Adam. <laughs> It doesn't matter. It. Wow. it doesn't matter because Dewberry missed. With that, Elliot Dewberry has Ooh. been eliminated. Wild Bears don't need this tournament anyway. <laughs> Goodbye. You're a fucking legend. <laughs> we don't need this. We don't need this. <laughs> oh my god. They are the best. They really are the best. I wish and I owned a shirt. Surprisingly, they're still sober. That's true. All right, here we Whew. go. They're next. Opponent! He is oh, the former movie trivia schmodown team champion! The former movie trivia schmodown champion of the world! The outlaw! John Ruga! There's booze and cheers for the outlaw! There's booze and cheers. This is big for the outlaw. This is a big moment, a great number for him to pick. He's getting the crowd, shakes the hand. He's behind the camera here. He's shaking. You can't see him. You can't see him right now. He's shaking the hand. And there he is. He's making his way. He's sitting next to his former nemesis, Ben Bateman. Hey, what's up, Jane Fonda? How you doing? Oh, and Bateman calling him Jane Fonda. Hey, when you come close to a championship, wake me up, Ben. <laughs> okay, they're already starting. Oh, wow. the they're way, already I'm be starting. Here for a while, so. Oh, good. All right. I'm not fond of your chances. 
All right. Oh, <laughs> Bibby. And Bibbs, we know Bibbs also with a big history of, of Roca. Roca coming out here. Bibbs just happy there's no third round questions in this. Oh! Game. I am! All right. Yep. All right, already, this is what we're talking about here. The beef is real. All right, here we go, guys. Julie Roberts, your favorite. All right, guys, first question in this round is in the category of Julia Roberts, the Princess of America. <laughs> Julia Roberts starred opposite Kiefer Sutherland, Kevin Bacon, William Baldwin, and Oliver Platt in this 1990 sci-fi horror film. Oliver Platt, one of America's secret phone? treasures. Five, four, three, two, one. Ethan. Flatliners. Correct. Correct. Ben. Flatliners. Roca. Flatliners. Adam. Nope. Didn't have it. Bibbs. Flatliners. All right. What a beautiful day to die. All right, guys. Next question is modern classics. <clears throat> what? Mo modern classics. Okay. You're good. Who plays adult Hamish in Braveheart? Oh, yes. Wow. Crowd reacting to that one yep. there. Well, look at this. This is a good table. And Ethan Irwin proved himself to be a oh, force. Yeah, only one misfire so far. Five, He's on a roll. Four, three, two, one. One. Pens down. Ben. Brendan Gleeson. Correct. Brendan Gleeson. Correct. Adam. Nope. Didn't have it. Bibbs. Brendan Gleeson. And Ethan. Brendan Gleeson. Yes. All right. All right. Adam, Adam finds Adam's himself in a, in a hole here. Next question, Jen. Next question comes from the category of sports. In the natural, what was special about the tree that Roy Hobbs carved his bat from? Mm. I love a good baseball movie. Yeah. It's really mm. good. yeah. It's good what sport. do you know about baseball? Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah. Five. That little thing. Four. Three, two, two, one. Pens down, guys. Outlaw. Uh, it was hit by lightning. Correct. Adam. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Bibbs. It was struck by lightning. Correct. Uh, Ethan. Hit by lightning. Yes, Ben. Hit by lightning. Okay. Oh, struck so by lightning. <laughs> well, we know, no, we, we, we know the outcome, but yeah. we're going to play for stats here. So yeah, here we play go. For stats. Next okay. question comes in the category of comic book movies. Movies about comical booklets. Question. <laughs> Which comic book movie had the tagline? Worst heroes ever. All for me not to do that in the voice of Jeff Albertson, the comic book guy from Simpsons. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Adam. Suicide Squad. That's correct. Correct. Bibbs. Oh, really? Oh, I thought it was Mystery Man. All right. Uh, uh, Ethan. Oh, shit. Ethan. Oh. Doesn't matter. But a good movie. Ethan got it. Suicide Squad. Ben. Mystery Man. No. And hey. Mystery Man. Mystery Man. Oh, hey. Wow. Well. Uh, An question. advertisement we for one of the, the most better movie. underrated the comedies. Right, here we go. Last question here is in Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks movies. Nice pants, Makuga. All right. Hey, nice what pants. was the name of the mouse in the Green Mile? As we get to the final here. Damn. And five, four, Damn. three, two, one. Pens down, oh, no. Mr. Jingles? Yes. Ethan. Damn it. Wow. Ethan. They call him Mr. Jingles. Ben. Mr. Jingles. Broken. Nah, I put Jinxie. I don't have it. It's okay. And, uh, I had a great time. All right. <laughs> and with that, Adam Halavik has been eliminated. Two rubber balls. Come on. All right. This is just crazy because you had a murderer's row before, and now Ethan Irwin has proven he is also part of that murderer's row. You've got He's Ethan Irwin, Ben Bateman, Adam, you, you could you stand can, there if you'd like, but, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. We're going to have to add but Thank you, though. <laughs> uh, John <laughs> Roca and Bibiani wow. are all left oh, yeah. at the table, and we get to our next competitor here. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to this is gonna get interesting. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> this is going to get very, very interesting. Can it not? <laughs> Their next opponent. Woo! Representing himself, former member of the Horsemen, former member of the Lion's Den. He is the captain and the inner, former Inner Geekdom champion, Robert Meyer Burnett. Oh, he's back. He's back. He got out of that closet. You guys locked him in, and he's back. Festival, apparently. Yeah, I mean, look, look, he's like a fop. <laughs> I mean, look at him, it's very Shakespearean. Ken, that's a former member that you guys tossed yeah. to the curb. How do you feel? We tossed him for a reason. Let's see what he can do. Look, look at Ben Bateman right? shaking the hand of Robert Meyer. You have to pay respect. And Robert Meyer and Ethan shaking. Might I have a little snort? I'll be my guest. By the way, that is a lovely tunic. 
Oh, oh thank so, you. So look I at this. I don't like Mark. Okay. But he acknowledged <laughs> Thanks, everybody buddy. except his former leader and, and, and look, his two former horsemen right there, Bibiani and Roca. And then he's got Ken at the table. Look, he's embracing him a little bit. He's, he's not that fond of All right, here we go. Yeah. And a gentleman, uh, yeah. a gentleman I've worked uh, with. Yeah, no, we worked together in the past he's on a fine film. All right, here we go, then. Jen. Here we go, guys. Jen. First question comes from the category of Cameron Diaz. Uh-oh. Wow, there's a lot of... Coming up. She makes good movies. I'm sorry. <laughs> this 2011 high school-based comedy starred Cameron Diaz, Justin Timberlake, and Jason Segel. If I'm the rest of the Schmodown community, I am looking away from Ethan Irwin. I mean, look at the amount of points that he's yeah. gotten so far in just three or four rounds. Five. Four. four three, three. Two. two one. one. Ethan. Bad teacher. Correct. Oops. Ben. Bad teacher. Roca. Bad teacher. And Burnett. The substitute. No. And what? Vince. Does anyone know Tom what called bad teacher? Was she a bad teacher? Jesus Christ, shut up. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Just because I have two decor. drinks doesn't mean it's time for stand-up song. All right, All right. play nice. Guys. Nerves getting to you, Roka? This <laughs> next question. <laughs> this next question comes in the category of Kubrick. I don't know if it's Stanley. Just says Kubrick. <laughs> James. All right. First question. Kubrick's 2001: A Space Odyssey was released in what year? Roka writing it down pretty fast. I, I have horrible hands. Five. Hopefully you wrote it out. <laughs> like Four. We'll see. Three, two, one. Ben Bateman. 1964. Incorrect. Correct. Uh, Roka. 69. Incorrect. Burnett. April 1968. That's Correct. Right. Bibbs. 1968. Correct. Correct. And Irwin. I got it wrong. I, just I got it wrong. wrong. Okay. So yeah, Irwin, Bateman, wrong. Roka, Burnett, and Bibiani now up two, but everyone else tied by one. This is now starting to yeah. get heated. Okay, guys. Next one is fantasy films. Who played? Mirana, the White Queen in Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. Who played Mirana, the White Queen? Mirana, I guess that's right. We'll find out in the comment section. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one, and pens down. We go to Roca. Anne Hathaway. Correct. Wow. Burnett. Don't know. Bibbs. I know. It's Anne Hathaway. Mm -hmm. Irwin. Anne Hathaway. Mm -hmm. And Ben. Helena Bonham Carter. Ooh, so Ben oh, misses. Right, so out. Burnett and Bateman now. Irwin and Roca able to Can get I have those points. Drink? Here we go. Next <laughs> question here. We go to Me Ken. Nope. Oh, we go to sorry. We go to Jen. Next question comes from the category of Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet? Yes. yes. Okay. What, the first one? what is the name of Kate Winslet's character in Titanic? Oh the first name is fine, guys. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. Burnett. I don't know. Didn't have it. Bibbs. Rose. Correct. Irwin. Rose DeWitt Bucator. Nice. <laughs> ben. Rose. Yes. John. John. Some stupid rules. <laughs> okay. So we got Irwin with three. It's Bateman two. Roka three. <laughs> so this is going to get really. Final, final question here. Final it's really be down between Burnett and Bateman. Let's see if they're as lovey-dovey as they were before. Here we go. What's the last All question? All right. Final question comes in the category of Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie. What South African actor plays King Stefan in Maleficent? They're all writing it down except Bateman Bateman's and Burnett. Burnett are scary Scrambling here. in their minds there. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. Pens down. And Bibbs. Charlotte Copeland. Correct. correct. Ethan. Charlotte Copeland. Yes, correct. Ben. I got halfway there. Charlito. Didn't have it. <laughs> Roca. Charlotte Copeland. You had oh, it. Burnett? Right. Nope. Oh, with that, oh, with wow. that, Robert oh. Meyer Burnett has been eliminated. Bateman stays alive. Look at that. Bateman stays alive. Burnett did something interesting, though. Burnett didn't, even, Burnett didn't even write anything down, though, after he looked at Bateman was struggling. Yep. Interesting there. Interesting. Sometimes okay. that's what happens. Yeah. All right. So Robert Meyer Burnett has been eliminated, and we are going to our next competitor. He is the former... Movie Trivia Schmodown two-time champion, you son of a bitch, for the Yodi Riley! Yodi is back! Yodi is back! He's done it! He is back on the table. The former two-time champion is here. Oh, and the crowd goes crazy.
crazy. Go Oh, this could yeah. not have been a better match at the same The former, the first champion ever, first person to do it twice, and now wow. he's on the that's table. A, right I just want to say, uh, I'm sorry I killed you. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> champ, okay. you got, <laughs> Superman comes back. You got okay. something to say, he champ? comes back. Many a time. I thought that was, it's a new studio. I thought that was a bathroom door. No, <laughs> so, so you're not in the contest? Why not do it? Eh, why not? Oh, why not yeah. do it? All right. <laughs> Who's up first? Hang, hang out. Right, this is a big me. table. These are Table of Legends and a Rook. A Rook. Here we go. First category is in the category of Kate Blanchett. His name is Jason Inman, the one that beat you in the fly blades for me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he wouldn't play me. I Decora. challenged him. Decora. Oh. Kate Blanchett. Who played Kate, Pl Kate Blanchett's co-lead in the 2015's Carol? Test of the uh, Look at this table. skills here. Look at this table here. Ethan Irwin I, proven. I thought Yodi had retired, taking yeah. a job at Panera. Five. I didn't know what was going Four, on. Four, three, two, two, one. Pens down. Ethan. Rooney Mara. Correct. Correct. Ben. Rooney Mara. Yep. Correct. Outlaw. Rooney Mara. Riley. Are you sure it's not Jude Law? <laughs> <laughs> little rusty, champ. Little rusty. Yeah. And Bibbs. Rooney, Mar. Rooney Mara is correct. All right, okay. Start there. Next one. Next question comes from the category of yeah. famous actors and actresses. Okay, why don't you do some things? Yeah. <laughs> All right. At the 1969 Academy Awards, films released in 1968, there was a tie for the Best Actress Academy Award between Katherine Hepburn and what other actress? Give me that again. At the 1969 Academy Awards, there was a tie for Best Actress Academy Award between Katherine Hepburn and what other actress? Five, seven, four, they covered this on the Oscars three, this year. two, one. Pens down. Ben. Barbra Streisand. Correct. Damn. Roca. Nope. Julie Andrews. Riley. I was writing Barbra Streisand, but it doesn't really look like it. There's a B. There's a... Looks a lot like... I read Jane Fonda. It looks a lot like Jane Fonda. It looks a lot like right. Jane Fonda. Yeah. But I put Barbra Streisand. That's correct. Right. Ethan. Ethan. Don't got Didn't it. have it. All Didn't right. Not so not Irwin, okay. Irwin, Irwin, Irwin isn't going has well. one. Bateman has two. Roca one. We need a point. Okay. You know. All right, guys, next question comes in the category of sci-fi films. Sci-fi films. What is the name of the arcade game in The Last Starfighter? Ooh. Still shocks me this movie has not been remade. It yeah. is a great movie, but of its time, it needs to be remade. Five, four, three, three two, two one. one. Pens down, please. And Roca. Uh, you got? Last Starfighter? Uh, no. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Last Starfighter. No. No. I had Star Command. No. no. Ethan? I just led Last Starfighter. No. And okay. Ben? Galaga? It is just <laughs> Starfighter. Just oh, Star God. God. Because there were other Starfighters. That was Damn awesome. it. Yeah. Here we go. Right. Here That's we go sick. now. I love that movie. Now too. the category of Oscars. Category of Oscars. Like Oscars. Category. What is the only film based on a TV series to get a Best Picture nomination? Five, four, a lot of thinking here. Three, two, one. Pens down, Riley. Yeah, Bibi I don't know. Bibiani. Is it Traffic? It was a miniseries. No, Ethan. No, I don't got it. I said Mash. No, Ber uh, Ben. French Connection. No, Roca. The Fugitive. Oh. Oh, God damn it! In my defense, traffic was a TV miniseries. So is that is that the wow. so we got, now we come down Oof. to our fifth question here. Look at oh, this. Boy, Riley has yeah. zero. Roca one. Irwin one. Bateman and Bibiani wow. are going to be safe here Tough at round. two. Yay! Here wow. we go. Last one, Jen. Your last question comes from the category of Robin Williams. Robin Williams appeared in what Christopher Nolan film? We got some scribbles going down here. Some people seem to know. And five. five a lot of pressure. Four, on to answer this three, three, two. Bibs. Insomnia. Correct. Irwin. Insomnia. Ben. Insomnia. Roca. Insomnia. And Riley. Well, I'm glad I got one right. Insomnia. All right. Good so, job, buddy. <laughs> but he came in. The it's former so champion. Some respect. But he comes in. Yodi came in. I think no. that. Yodi came in and he yeah. wanted to just make an appearance here yeah. too. It was a lot of fun. Old legends. You got up. Naveed Makalarji. You got oh, yeah. Riley. I don't know if he's back. Yeah, Jen, you're going to have to find out from him backstage. Is he back or oh, what's the deal here? Just a one time with, thing, That was know? it. All right. So Mark Riley out. Okay. Our next opponent. Representing Super. 
Super Hero News. Sabina Briggs. There's Sabina. Had a very nice showing in her team match. Oh, and now she's going to be hugging Viviani on the way in. And she, I mean, look, she is running into a, a truckload of. Yeah, this is Welcome tough. to the table. It's tough. Woo. This is why we play the free throw. This is why we. Uh, this exactly. is a tough table to walk right. into. Yep. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Hi, absolutely. All right. So they're they're all nice. The 1988 <laughs> Dodgers yeah. face yeah. these odds, too. Yeah. 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 yeah, I've got it. Yeah. All right. Here we go, guys. All right. First question this category in this round is in the category of Harry Potter. Harry oh. Potter. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> what Harry Potter character is the daughter of the editor-in-chief of the Quibbler and made her first appearance in The Order of the Phoenix? Sorry, that was muddled. I didn't hear yeah. two of the words you in there. Can, you can do it. Yeah, that's a long one. You can read that one again. What Harry Potter character is the daughter of the editor-in-chief of the oh. Quibbler and made her first appearance in The Order of the Phoenix? Five. Four. Four. Three. three. Two. two, one, pens down, Ethan. Cho Chang? Incorrect. Uh, ben. Moira? Nope. No. Uh, Roka. Is Emma in the room? Roka. No. Rita Skeeter? No. No. Uh, Sabina. Luna Lovett. That That's correct. correct. Oh, yes. Luna Lovett. Oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, yes. wow. Harry Potter. Remember. All right, here we go. Tim Burton. <laughs> Tim Burton is next. Who provided the singing voice for Jack Skellington in the Tim Burton produced The Nightmare Before Christmas? Five, four, three, two, one. Ben. Johnny Depp? No, Roca. Danny Elfman? Correct. Sabina. Danny Elfman. Correct. Danny yes. Elfman. Yes. Ethan. Danny Elfman. All right. So Bateman. I am Bateman. I can take Bateman off my head. Bateman finds himself in a hole yes, here. Nice for the end of one guy. Brace yourself, Bibbs. It's your favorite category. Yay! <laughs> Festival exactly. darlings. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Shit. Who played Napoleon Dynamite in Napoleon Dynamite? I don't know his name. Five, four, three, two, one. Roca. I don't know. Didn't Jared, have Jared Hess. No, Sabina. Yeah. John. No, Viviani. <laughs> John Hader? That's correct. That's correct. Ethan. John Hader. Yes, Vivian, uh, Ben. John Hader. Yes. All okay. right, there we go. So now round, Bateman round. and Roca are now tied. Yeah, I, was, I was heading toward that direction. Yeah. I was All like, right. Roca! I hate All it right, so we, this is our this is fourth, fourth, fourth question. One, fourth fourth question. one in this round that comes in the category of Marvel. Marvel. How many X-Men films does Halle Berry appear in as Storm? We'll give you 20 seconds to answer this one. Gears turning. Five, four, four three, three, two, two, one, and Sabina. Four. Correct. That's correct. Bibbs. Four. That's yes. correct. Ethan. Four. And correct. Ben. Four. And correct. Roca. Four. All right. All right. All right. So Look how that. about this? It's Bateman versus Roca here in the fifth and final round here because if they both get it right, they're both out. If one gets it right, one gets it wrong. We'll see what happens here. I'm very excited. <laughs> we'll figure new, it out. New releases. <laughs> new releases. Here we go. New releases. In The Disaster Artist, what celebrity cameos as himself, offering Greg Sestero to fill in for a small part in a TV show? Uh, Rogue is shaking his head. shaking his head. He's not writing anything He's struggling. Down. There's no Five, JT rules to save four, him here. Four, three, three two, two one um, pens down, Bibbs. Brian Cranston. Correct. correct, Ethan. Brian Cranston. That's yes, correct. Ben. Bye, Roca. Bye. And John Roca. <laughs> John Roca. Oh, and Sabina. <laughs> Brian Cranston. And John Roca wow. has been in. I will take that hat now. Bateman gets rid of. I will take that hat now. There wow, has been what a so much. Bateman. There has been so much trash talk oh, between so these much. two. So wow. much. Bateman's got to feel good about that. Oh, one. oh, oh we're still. My brain is this. Look, how oh. about this? Sabina comes in and against the table of Titans is showing why she's there I, and she is going to the next round. I completely agree. I think people came out and said, oh, Sabina, how's Sabina going to deal with this? She made them all catch up. Great job yeah. by Sabina there. That was an amazing performance. All right. And there 
next opponent. Representing Late to the Party. She is Vanessa Fitzsimmons. Vanessa can last a little longer than Robert did, but right. here we go. I love this. Me? Two ladies fans at the table. Her. Yeah, fans Two ladies are behind with her. lots of knowledge. Yeah. All right. Next question comes from the category Thriller. What 2005 thriller stars Ellen Page, Patrick Wilson, and Sandra O? Oh? Five. Four, three, two, two one. one. Ethan. Hard candy. Yes, Ben. Hard candy. Yep, Vanessa. Nope. No, nope. Sabina. Hard candy. Well done, Bibiani. Hard candy. There you go. All okay, right. so. Yeah. Really all Vanessa all finds herself in a trap. Really all good. right. Good movie. Me and the next category. All right. Second question of the round comes in the category of animated. Animated. What's the name of the 2014 animated musical starring Channing Tatum, Zoe Saldana, and Diego Luna? Have you thought Five, about eliminating an animated four, as a category? No. Three. No. Two. You eliminate you. One. And Ben Baby. No idea. Uh, uh, Vanessa. Book of Life. That's correct. Right. Sabina. <laughs> Sabina. Book of Life. Right. All right. Bibbs. Book of Life. There Ethan. we go. Ethan no, didn't have dead. it. Wow, oh. Ethan. Vanessa, Ethan, 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 and Bateman. Graves and Bibiani. Very impressive. Speaking of Graves, kicking ass here as is Bibiani. 2-2. Two, two. All right, here we go. Next category is mystery. Mystery. Mm. In 1985's Clue, which one of the infamous weapons was used to kill the cook? Mm. You got to give credit to Bibiani here. I mean, he's been in there for a long he, time. He's, he's number 20. He's standing the entire time. It counts as cardio. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Vanessa. Rope. Incorrect. Sabina. Leave it. Incorrect and knife. Correct, Ethan. Knife. Yes, and Ben. Gun. It's a okay. classic film. Irwin two, Bibiani three, Graves two, Bateman and Vanessa now fighting. We know that Action and Late to the Party have had their scraps in the past as well. Okay. And next question comes from Jen. Jen, you ready? Yep. Next question, guys, comes from the category of family films. Who plays Pops in 2008's Speed Racer? Uh, scrambling, scrambling. Uh, unfair advantage. Uh, unfair advantage for Ethan Irwin yeah. in that one. <laughs> uh, yes, silver picture. I didn't word. actually work on that movie though. I did not. Work. Five, Such four, three, That's why it's good. Two, two, one. one. Pens down and Sabina. Hugo Weaving. No, but a great guess. <laughs> good guess. <laughs> Bibbs. John Goodman. Correct. Ethan. Right. John Goodman. Yes, Ben. Matthew Fox. No, and no. Vanessa. Nope. Didn't have it. All right. Ooh. Interesting. In so there. now wow. Bateman okay. has another shot to get rid of another rival here. It's 1 1. Bateman and Vanessa as we get into yes. the fifth oh, round here. Vanessa! Can you do it? Can you do it? All right. Here we go. Last one. Final, Final question. question. <laughs> Final question comes in the category of Scarlett Johansson. How well do you know your Scar Joe? A former tennis pro falls for an actress who happens to be dating his friend and soon-to-be brother-in-law in what Scarlett Johansson film? And five, four, three, two, one. Bibbs. Match point. That's yes. correct. Ethan. Match point. Yep, That's ben. correct. Ben. Match point. That's Vanessa? Correct. Match point. Wow. And Sabina. Oh. Match point. And with oh, that, with Ben, Bateman, and Vanessa have been eliminated. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. 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 If you're going to go out, out, take someone with she you. She took him out. She took Ben Bateman out. And Ben wow. Bateman had a goal, a dream to win this thing. He did. And Vanessa took him out. There you go. So we have two <laughs> spots left. <laughs> We're going to get to number 38 <laughs> and 39. Yeah, yeah. Ethan <laughs> and Bibbs are still here. Yes. Sabina going into another round. Yep. Ethan Irwin and Bibbs are still in this thing. Bibbs has, is, was number 20. Ethan was number 29. And we are ready for our next two competitors. Our next competitor. Representing the Wild oh, Berry. Wow. Is the 2014 oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Finalist, 
And Roxy Stryer's the out with them. Wild oh my oh god! No! no. <laughs> oh no! no. Makes wow. sense. Makes sense. He's doing a, a cake stand. That's not how you do that. No, but. you make sense. That's exactly <laughs> what he is. He's going to be far to stay, Jim. That's. Oh man, there he is. Welcome back, Hi. buddy. The wild man's hitting Woo. the table. Wild man sitting at the table. Hope they didn't ruin the car, but. Um, wow. All right, He's I. Very responsible. I'm not. The, the next, the next, the next competitor very apparently. Dangerous. The next competitor is blank. I don't. I don't know. No. Oh. Bobby that? Finstock. No. No. It's not Bobby good. Finstock. What? No. What's happening? It's gonna mean anything. Bobby Finstock. Yeah. No. It can't oh, yeah. be. Oh, no. oh, no. Oh, no. What? What? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Hayden Christensen. Yeah. He yeah. is known. This is. Bobby Josh Makuga, former rival. And wow. How does how do you explain this? Because I don't know how we can explain <laughs> this. I have multiple personalities too. How I don't do we, understand. How do we explain this? I almost wore that today. <laughs> This is a jacket. This is a jacket from the Mesopotamian wait, era. I got it wait. off de at Dennis Miller's wait, closet. Finstock, where, where have you been? <laughs> you know where I've been. Over there. What do you mean over there? I've been over, over here. In over the there. dumpster behind the studio. So Eat you've... your heart out, Jen Sturger. I don't I... understand. I, why do I have to keep competing against this thing? Well, it's now... not a human. It's not a man. It's now not a get, woman. It's, it's not a gender it's a neutral battle. It's just a person. It's a person. It's, it's a, a phenomenon. Thing. So Finstock, Finstock, are you part? Finstock, are you still part of the Lions then? No, I'm rogue. You're rogue. Yeah, I'm rogue. All right. All right. That's fine. I got a couple of things up my sleeve. All right, let's get going. Not this sleeve because I can't fit anything. It's right. too tight. You, you and the but person. But my beer color matches my jacket. Well, so. it does. Great. All right, you make a good. Where are the rest of them? All right, I don't know uh, what's this first. Kimono. I'll get you. Later. Here we go. Okay, yeah. All right, guys. I go. All right, we're gonna start with the category of war Poof. films. War films. Wild Berry's the movie. All right, 2019. War, war films. Here we so go. So we got to write shit here, right? Steven yeah. Spielberg directed what 1980s war film starring John Malkovich and Miranda Richardson? Deep cut to start. Deep cut to start. Finstock making his long-awaited return. Yeah, uh, I never thought I'd five, see the day that I liked him. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, Ethan. Empire of the Sun. Correct. Correct. Finstock, what are you doing? What do you got? Uh, War Horse. No. Uh, <laughs> Makuga. Empire of the Sun. Yes, Sabina. Nope. No, Bibbs. <laughs> Empire of the Sun. Yes. Uh, so was that really yeah. a war movie though? It was. Yeah. It's a war right. movie. Next one. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Your yeah, next Jen. question. There was like a kid in it. Yeah. There Your next question. Alive, young, uh, young, uh, go. Stop yeah, talking, so. Jen. Go. Oh, okay. Stop talking. Your next question comes from the category of Ridley Scott. Ugh. What version I'm of kidding, the replicants is Deckard hunting down in Blade Runner? What's it? Fuck. You can say it again. Go ahead. What version of the replicants is Deckard hunting down in Blade Runner? Five. Four. four three, three. Two. two one. Finstock. The first version? <laughs> no. Uh, Makuga. Uh, I wrote uh, 2.8. No. Sabina. <laughs> the new, new one. No. Bibs. <laughs> Series 6? Um, where is it? We, need the f we need the full name of it. So no. Oh. Uh, Ethan. Uh, I said Nexus 7. Oh. oh it was Nexus I know. 6. Nexus 6. I know. I know. Together. Six. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, so it's nobody Nexus got 6? 7 is the yeah. new okay. movie. I'm very stupid. All Here. right. All Here. right. Here. Uh, guys, mm. third question in this round comes in the category of Disney. Disney. What Disney film is about the Princess Giselle from the mystical land of Andalasia? Can we get a year here? No. Okay. Five, four, I don't know. three, two, one. Pens down, Makuga. Princess and Frog. No, mm -hmm. uh, Sabina. Enchanted. That's yes. correct, Bibbs. Enchanted. Enchanted. Yes. That's correct, B uh, Ethan. Enchanted. Yes, and Finstock. Uh, frozen. No. <laughs> All right, Erwin and Bibiani once again wow. in the lead. Makuga won, Graves won, Finstock, Big Fat Goose Egg. All right, here we go. Is this question four? This yes, is sir. question okay, four. Okay, great. Coming of age, in Fast Times at Ridgemont High, what food did Spicoli have delivered to class? And five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Pens down, Sabina. Pizza? Correct, correct. Bibbs. Oh, pizza. Yes, correct. Ethan. Pizza. Yep, Finstock. 
Pizza. Yeah, and McCooks. Uh, pizza, but he also had a bagel in his pants at one time. Oh, that's true, he did. <laughs> he didn't All have a right. Irwin, three, McCook at two. All right, so how about this? Wow. If Finstock gets it right and Makuga does not get it, then he could eliminate as well as Graves. So let's see what happens here. Bibiani and Irwin once again are safe. Your next question comes from the category of disaster. Disaster movies or just disaster? Disaster Your movies. life. So like this it's, all all it's, all it's, all it's all about Finstock. Yes. Okay. A lot of disasters. Here we go. Disaster movies. <laughs> <laughs> this 2016 California-based disaster film was directed by Brad Payton and starred Dwayne Johnson, Carla Gugino, and Alec yeah. Yeah. Alexandra Daddario. You got it. I know that name well. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Sabina, pens down. And Beast. San Andreas. Yes. Okay. Ethan. San Andreas. That's yeah, correct. Finstock. San Andreas. And correct. Cougar. San Andreas. And Sabina. Uh -oh. San And. Oh. And San And. Oh. No, oh. I can't give that to you. And with that, Finstock and Sabina have been eliminated. Oh. Wow. wow. Uh, wow, Finstock is in and he's out, but Sabina Graves having a great. Sabina. Great, but Makuga does it again, knocks Finstock out of the way. Giving him a good I'm not sad to see him go. Don't no, let the away. kimono thing hit you in the I've, back. I've been here so long, there's so much about ink that. on my fingers. No. Oh, yeah, sure. All right. And this is not two more, two, two more competitors. Here. here we go. We got We're 40. We're coming down to the coming end. down here. to the wire. 48 competitors, 40 and 41 coming in here now. Number 40. Representing reactors everywhere, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dale the Dude! Yeah! Oh, Dale, be loved by everyone here. This is crazy. He told me he wasn't going to be competing. Oh, he lied to you. Huh? He's a liar. Uh, oh, he's getting a shot. Of course he is. Uh, Google wants Man can't operate without his whiskey. Yeah, Google wants that. it too. Another Don't Dale drink it, it's real. Dale I found that out. Google and together. I like, I like Dale the Dude. And I like, I like, I like Makuga. I'm a big fan of Dale the fucking Dude. All right. All right. And, tell you what, and their, next, sorry. their next opponent representing Scream Junkies. He is the icon, Hal Rudnick. Hal's here, host of Movie Fights. And Hal Rudnick coming in to get him a piece of the pie here as we get into this match. Bibiani still there, Ethan still there, and we have three new competitors. Excuse me, yeah. two new competitors as we get down to this. That's my thing. All right, if we're settled, if we're settled, you're gonna five round, uh, five questions in this round. First one comes in the category of sci-fi film. Sci-fi film. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> what is the computer world called in Tron? Five, four, four three, two, one. Pens down. Ethan. I don't think I got it. I said cyber world. I don't know it's if you know Correct. Deal. I, I tried, just tried to route the inside. No. I don't know. Uh, Makuga. The grid? Correct. That's correct. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The Nexus. No, uh, Bibbs. The Grid. Correct. All right. Who gets right. it? Keeps himself alive there. Okay, next question here comes in movie taglines. Which horror classic has the tagline? Check in, unpack, relax, and take a shower. What was the category? Uh, movie taglines. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Makuga. Dale. No idea. Cougs. Bachelor party? No. Psycho. Correct. Bibbs. Psycho. Yes, and Ethan. Psycho. Got it. So we got oh. we got all the way. We got Makuga one, Irwin one, Rudnick one, and Bibiani once again with two. Jen, you're up. Next question's coming from the category of the DCEU. Ugh. What is the name of Steve Trevor's secretary in Patty Jenkins' Wonder Woman? Oh. Somewhere Mark and Draco is losing his mind. Yeah. Yep. Five, five, four, three, two, one, and Josh McCuga. I'm gonna say Marjorie. It's incorrect. How? Lady McCrumpet. No, Bibbs. Etta Candy. Uh, Etta yes, candy? yes, yeah. Ethan. Etta Candy. Yes, Dale. I had an E. It's Ethel. No, no. All right. All right. So all next right. one, guys. But come on, Marjorie is like 
pretty good name. She's okay, here we go. All right, listen up. Fourth question in this round is in the category of Bond, James Bond. Huh? What Bond. Academy Award-winning actress played NSA agent Gia Cinta Jinx Johnson in Die Another Day? Five, four, three, two, one. Well, if Bibiani wanted anyone to eliminate him, it's going to happen soon. All right, so <laughs> Rudnick. Halle Berry. That's correct. There you go. Halle Berry. Yes, That's Ethan. Correct. Halle Berry. Dale. I didn't know that. I just wasn't paying attention. I'm a cougar. Mm-hmm. Uh, Halle Berry. <laughs> no, did you, did, you, did you? Did not have it? Did not have it. Okay, so, Thanks, but still. Oh, right. All right, so now it comes down to Makuga and Dale. All right, here we go. Pixar, Pixar movies. Pixar oh. movies. What is the name of the princess who defies her kingdom's customs in Pixar's Brave? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Bibbs. Merida. Correct. Ethan. Merida. Correct. Dale. So long, and thanks all for all the fish. All right. Gooch. I said lag at the right. Okay, how? Uh, Lindsay Lohan. And with that, wow. Dale the Dude has been eliminated. I get to stay. Good. You get to stay, Makuga. Makuga back for now. Into the next Makuga's round. Good for now. Makuga's able to stay. Hey, guys, give it up for Dale the Dude. Come on. <laughs> Dale the Dude. All right. Okay. Here we Our go. Our next competitor. Hey, representing medicine, the Wanger and the Schmozno. He's simply known as R.B. Here we go. Your next question comes yeah. from the category of holiday films. What, what is the name of Cousin Eddie's dog in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, just choking up a bone. Oh, and five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Ethan. I have no idea. I said little shit. <laughs> RB3. <laughs> Spot. I don't know. It's no. Uh, snots. Snots that is correct. correct. How? Damn, I said squirts. No. <laughs> 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 he was so Wrong about it. I thought it was Makuga. No. <laughs> the only Makuga wow. fittingly gets that right. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. He's going to knock all of us out. It's going to be amazing. Right. Here we go. Oh, my God. I get the first one right every time and then just survive. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Your second question is in the category of Judd Apatow movies. Judd Apatow movies. This actor played Andy Stitzer, the main character in Apatow's The 40-Year-Old Virgin. Five, four, a lot of murmuring three, in the crowd. I love a good two, murmur. one. Pens down. <laughs> Bibs, pens down. And here we go. Uh, RB3. Steve Carell? Correct. Correct. McCooks. Steve Carell. Yes. And Steve Carell. And Bibs. Steve Carell. Well, let me see that. Uh, I know, I know. S T E V C A R E L. I mean, I, I'll give it to you. Steve Carell. All right, all right cool. All right, all right. so we got Try it. So only, so Irwin's go got it. RB3 got it. <laughs> Makuga's got uh, two. Rudnick one. Look, look at this. this Irwin, wow. RB3, Rudnick, and Pibbs all tied as we get into Kate Winslet movies. Kate yes. Winslet movies. Wow. I love a good Winslet. Kate Winslet starred opposite Jeffrey Rush and Joaquin Phoenix in this 2000 Son film inspired by the life of the Marquis de Sade. I'll just give it to him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's really a movie. Five. Oh, man. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down. And McCooks. Tale of Two Cities? No. Uh, Little Fockers? No. <laughs> That's uh, a Bibbs. no. Quills. Quills yes. is correct. Quills? I, I thought it was me. No, and oh God, I'm the Titanic man. Come on, keep it on. Favorite character. Oh me, On what planet? Are Rudnick, Rudnick, Irwin, and RB3 tied at one. Makuga and Bibiani have two. This is big for Irwin, RB3, and Rudnick. Here we go. Next question comes from the category of Spielberg. In Jurassic Park, Shit. the DNA of what kind of animal was used to fill in the gaps in the DNA strands? Mm-hmm. And five. Four. four 
Three, two, one. How? What do you got? Mosquito. Wrong. Bibs. Frogs. That's correct. Right. Ethan. Frog. Yes. Frog. Yep, and McCooks. Frog. Okay, oh, so oh, Rudnick missed. Big miss for Hal there. It's good news. You can so get a new the one. This is the fake news. This is the final. Sure. Thanks for the. We could. <laughs> Here we go. Dude, we no. could see something go on here. All right. Fifth and final question in this round is in the category of Star Trek, that other star franchise there. <laughs> yes. In the Star Trek franchise, how many films does James Kirk hold the rank of Star Fleet Admiral? Oh, yeah. uh, man. Oh, that's good. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down, please, Bibbs. Two? Incorrect. Correct. Ethan. Three. Incorrect. incorrect. RB3. Oh, I don't know. This is a guess. Six? No. Incorrect. Makuga. Seven. And incorrect. Hal. Six. It's four. Incorrect. incorrect. It's, it's four. four. Oh, Which one? Which one? Promoted in the fourth Hal line. Rudnick has been eliminated. <laughs> but Ethan oh, stays man. alive. RB3 still in yeah. there. Makuga and Will William Bibiani is still in there still after here number and still 20. Standing. Bibiani, number 20, and we are now up to number 44. Bibiani has, ha I think he's got to have beaten Lon at this point. I'm not sure, but here we go. Yeah. I believe yes. at this point it's uh, time for a break to plug the Wild Berries. It's a t-shirt available <laughs> in public. Thanks, guys. And their next opponent. She is the Golden Mike. Emma Fox! Oh, the White Fox bringing her out. Oh, Emma Fox coming out. Making her free for all debut last year. Not on the table. And here we go. Emma Fife is out there and seeing a load of Josh McCuga. It's Bibiani, Emma Fife, Ethan Irwin, RB3, and the wild man Josh McCuga. What a table we have here as we are now at. Famous actors and actresses, ladies and gentlemen. Famous actors and actresses. In the 2009 fantasy film, The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus, three different actors were brought in to complete Heath Ledger's role after his untimely death. Name one of them. In 2009, the fantasy film, The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus, three different actors were brought in to complete Heath Ledger's role. Name one of them. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Ethan. Jude Law, Johnny Depp. Correct. Uh, uh, three. Johnny Depp and Jude Law. Yes. Oh, nice. Makuga. I was going to write you, Jack. Man. No. Uh, uh, Johnny Depp. You got it. And Bibbs. Johnny Depp. All right. So <laughs> only Makuga misses that one. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the question that's going to take me out. Dr. Parnassus. <laughs> Are you joking me? <laughs> there we go. Next one. Next question. And Next question Jen. comes from the category 2010. I don't even have health insurance. Dr. Parnassus. <laughs> there we go. You're joking me? I was just in high school. In, in Argo, who plays the film producer Lester Siegel, who helps Ben Affleck and John Goodman create the illusion of a fake film? Five, four, four three, three. Dr. Two, Parnassus. Two, RB3. Alan Arkin? Correct. Correct. Alan Arkin. Yes, I uh, couldn't remember who it was, but I just remember his lovely 70s uh, hair. Right. Yeah. Bibbs. Alan Arkin. Yes, and Ethan. Right. Alan Arkin. Got it. So, <laughs> all right. Fife has won. Makuga won. Now it's, it's Fife and Makuga now fighting. All and right. as we get, all next right. question. Next question comes in the category of Kubrick. It's yeah. Kubrick guy. Fuck. He <laughs> 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 directed like 13 films. All right. <laughs> who were the co leads in Eyes Wide Shut? <laughs> you know, I, I just know this because you saw boobs you know. in the movie. And <laughs> five, hey, no, Makuga, that's very crass. four, three, two, one. Pens down, please, McCooks. Uh, Tom Cruise, Nicole Kidman. Yes, correct. Emma. Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise. Yes, correct. Bibbs. Tom Cruise plus Nicole Kidman. That's and correct. Ethan. Same. And yeah. Yeah. Bit, uh, Tom, Tom Cruise, Nicole Kidman. Uh, there you go. Right okay. There. All right. <laughs> Now, now we get to westerns. Oh. Westerns. Are you joking me? Westerns in Blazing Saddles. Gene Wilder's alcoholic gunslinger is known by what nickname? He's like, I shoot with this hand. I know, yep. <laughs> so that's only five, four, 
three, <laughs> two, one, and Emma. Uh, I know you can't uh, read what this says, but it says Jane Fonda. Oh, <laughs> another Jane Fonda joke. Oh, I love it. Yes. And Bibbs. I'm blank. The Waco Kid? Correct. Correct. Oh. Yes. Erwin. <laughs> Erwin. Uh, DJ Farts. <laughs> <laughs> no. RB3. Uh, the Outlaw. No. And McCook. The Hopper. No. McCooga and Fife here wow. getting down to the nitty gritty here. Is this the. Is this this, the this, this is it. Final one for Jen here. Our horror films as we get it. Are you. Like, what is this, man? Horror. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not just it's picking horror. it randomly. Don't. Here you know go. what? Don't look at me. You guys know you're <laughs> fucking with me. You don't want me to win because you don't want Wild Berries to sell okay. more t shirts. All right, here we go. This is why you don't drink in trivia. Here we go. Here we go. Can the Makuga magic come in? Here we go. What song, oh, this is from the category of horror. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> what song plays while Patrick Bateman kills Paul Allen in American Psycho? Oh. Oh. All right, McCougar uh, right looks away. Looks like he's ready. There. Five, miss movies four, yeah. three, two, one. Pens down, McCougar needs Emma to miss here. Mm. Bibiani? Uh, tip to be square. Correct. Correct. Okay. Uh, Ethan? Hip to be square. Yes, RB3. I got it. Uh, I said Su Su Studio. And yeah, I, had, I got nothing. So. Oh, and with that, oh, Josh no. McCuga oh, and no. Emma have been eliminated. <laughs> Two people. It was fixed. It was fixed. <laughs> At least there's beer backstage, right? Yeah. 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 Tons of people out. There's beer on stage, too. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Thank We've you. got. Thank you, Makuga. We have thank five, you, Emma. five competitors are left. Five competitors Ooh. Ooh. are left. How did I get at this table? Five Including this? Five competitors are left. <laughs> and we have two more coming in right now. Whew. All right. Our next competitor making her return to the Schmodown in competition. Miss yeah. Movies! Yeah. 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 Oh, and there's the entrance we all know. Yeah. It's Buffy. Yes. It's Buffy, and she's going for it. Oh, she just killed somebody. Oh. She just killed somebody else. It's murder. I'm behind her. Oh, no. Get up for him! Oh, and she killed someone else. Not the cameras. Don't fall into the cameras. The cameras. Just a bunch of vampires. Pee Wee Herman is dead. Pee Wee Herman is dead, and Brianne Chandler does what she does. All right. Entrance galore. Was that real? Did I yes. just yes. did I just witness murder? She just saved your life. Oh wow. Okay. Bibiani has officially broken Dan Merle's record with 17 <laughs> rounds. 17 <laughs> rounds. 17 rounds. Brandon. Granted, there are a couple more competitors than last year, but still, 17 rounds is something something pretty incredible. Okay, here we go. The last competitor on the table, Jones representing Bachelor Nation. <laughs> he is Jared Tuskus Haybon. Haybon making his singles debut here, really. He did a nice interview to me. Just walk by the crowd. Yeah. Like some, of course. What can he do? What can he do here against his crew? Can he, can any one of these stop the Bibiani run? That is the question. Will I lose for your this love opportunity tonight. to That's do singles, question. regular singles, not just inner geekdom? So right. let's see how right. it goes. I don't right. want to lose it. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Here we go. Fire. All right, your first question in this round is in the category of movie characters. Movie characters. Anton Chigurh is an ominous character in what film? Bad Boys 2. <laughs> Someone get the drunk man. <laughs> I thought that Five, kid was tapped. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Ethan. No Country for Old Men. That's correct. correct. RB3. No Country for Old Men. That's Jared. Correct. No Country for Old Men. Correct. Man. No Country for Old Men. And Bibbs. No Country for Old Men. All right. Queen's okay. right. All right. All right. All right. Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith is your next mm. category. This Kevin Smith film starred Ben Affleck and Matt Damon as Fallen Angels. God, there were so many hmm. in which that happened. Five, four, three. Two, one, Maybe. pens down, please. And RB3. Dogma. Correct. Jared. Dogma. Yes, Brienne. Dogma. And Bibbs. Dogma. Ethan. Terminator Ooh. Genesis. <laughs> Dogma is correct. Uh, All right, here we go. I forgot there was a Kevin Smith film. Next one, Jen. Your next question comes from the category of Star Wars. Uh, oh, great. 
In the Star Wars films, what are said to be immensely superior to droids because they can think creatively? <laughs> Should I repeat that for them? No, I think they're all right. You got that? Five, four, <laughs> Thank you. three, two, one. Pens down. Pens Jared. Down. Uh, stormtroopers? Incorrect. Incorrect. Brianna. Clones? Correct. Correct. Oh. Yeah. I had stormtroopers. Wow. Correct. Ethan. Oh. I said Wookiees. And right. RB3. Uh, Jar Jar Binks. Only Brianna. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Fourth question in this round comes in the category of Hitchcock, Alfred Hitchcock mm -hmm. films. This actress starred in both Hitchcock classics, The Birds and Marnie. Brianna Chandler here has That's an opportunity a... to clear <laughs> the yep. table. Five, four. You cannot stop smiling. Three, it's crazy. <laughs> Two, one, pens down and Brianne. Is it Tippi Hendren? Uh, that's, that's correct. That's correct. Yeah. Tippi Hendren. Yes, that's Ethan. Correct. Tippi Hedren. That's correct. Probably three. Tippi Hedren, but yeah. I know it's, the last name's a little hard to read, but uh, well, Tippi is definitely there. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, yeah, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get it. I put... No. I didn't know what else to do. All right, all right here we go. Okay, so, uh, so <laughs> Havon missed, missed, and that actually puts Irwin, RB3, and Bibiani at a little bit of a safer spot there because now we get to the last category, and this is adventure. Adventure. Okay, here we go, guys. Who plays Evie in 1999's The Mummy? All right. Brianne possibly the perfect round here. Brianne kicked ass on her return here. And five. Four, Four three, three, two, two, one. Bibbs. Rachel Weiss. Yes, Ethan. Correct. Rachel Weiss. Yep, That's correct. three. Rachel Weiss. That's correct. Rachel Weiss. Yes, Rachel and Weiss. with that. Perfect oh, round. So perfect round for Brienne. And with oh, that, Jared yeah. Havon has been eliminated. But that's a good round by Havon. But Chandler, perfect in that yeah. round here. Yeah. What a comeback. Yeah. What a return. Yeah. Come on, keep going. Keep kicking ass, man. Good. Good. Yeah. Think, great. All right. So I'm only three competitors left here. Three competitors left. The winner staring down a title shot of their choosing. Yeah. Three competitors, and Bibiani and Irwin have, have been on there for a long, long time. All right, our next competitor. All right, I'm just ready to answer. Representing the Real Rejects. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even want it. He doesn't even want it, I guess. Show, show, show. Come on. Come on. All right, good. You just want to get to Greg Alves. All right, here we go. All right, Greg Alves is here. Okay. Greg Alves is here. Here we go. Five questions in this round. Of course, first one comes in the category of dance. Woo! What? Dance. Richard Gere starred opposite this former Fly Girl in 2004's Shall We Dance? Five, four, three, two, one. One, Greg, stop eating. And Erwin. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. Yes. Uh, RB3. No. Greg, nothing. Brianna. I got to Jennifer. Sorry. Right, Jennifer Brianna. Lopez. Yes. Jennifer Lopez. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next category. Thank category you. of dramas. <laughs> category of dramas. Okay. In Glengarry Glen Ross, what does the acronym ABC stand for? Bianni. And Brienne, right? A lot of markers going right yeah. now. Yep. Squiggle, squiggle. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, RB3. And answer, RB3. Uh, American Banking Company. That is incorrect. Know. Greg. Always be closing. Yes. That's right. Ah. Always be closing. That's right. Right. Always be closing. Yes. And Erwin. Yes, he got it as well. Brienne has right. not missed. Yeah, Brienne, seven one. straight. Oh, oh, you yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> All right, guys, your next question comes from the category Family Films. Who played the Cat in the Hat in 2003's Cat in the Hat? <laughs> I didn't say it was a great question. I just said it was a question. No, it's, a, it's the movies. It stinks. <laughs> I know. And five, four, four three, three, two, two, one. Pens down. Greg. Mike Myers. Correct. That's correct. Mike Myers. Correct. Correct. Mike Myers. Yes, Ethan. Mike Myers. And RB3. Mike Myers. Yep. Oh, All right. right. Irwin, on RB3 on the board. It's really a battle now between RB3 and Alba. Oh. RB3 and Alba here as we get to the next, next category question, question four. is in the category of John Carpenter. John Carpenter. In 1982's The Thing, Shit. who plays the mechanic child? Never. I've still never seen the movie. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I've seen it. 
JT is he's still Well, I mean, you're ancient. <laughs> Five. Thank you. Four. <laughs> Three. Two. One. Pens down. Brienne. Keith David? That's, That's correct. correct. Oh. Keith David! That's correct. Keith David. Yep. Correct. RB3 I didn't have it. Nothing. I just said Kurt Russell, you know? Didn't have it. Okay, no, so it's right. still, now it is really down to RB3 and Alba. As we Oof. get to the final question. Get it wrong, RB3. Oscars. Get it wrong. <laughs> Oscars. Name uh, the one film starring Kevin Costner that has won Best Picture at uh, the Academy Awards. Thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> RB3. He's confident with the answer. Five, he knows his position. Four, three. Two, one, Bibbs. Dance of the Wolves. Yes, Ethan. Dance of the Wolves. Right. Barbie 3. Dance of the Wolves. Alba. Right. Dances with Wolves. And Brienne. Yeah, yeah. Dances with Wolves. Ten wow. Round. Perfect round. And with that, RB3 has been eliminated. Good job, RB3. Two perfect rounds for Brienne Chandler, though. RB3! RB3! Oh, he's such a crowd favorite. Yes. All right. And their next opponent. <laughs> Representing Screen Junkie. It's not true. Ladies and gentlemen. It's not true. It's a dangerous. No. Dan Moore. No. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 What's this? What's this? How did he get in the building? Oh, no. Where's Merle? Wait a minute. What did you do to Merle? Get on the table. Get on the Can table. we get that on tape? Because I feel like we'll need that in court. Get on the table. So Did Andrew Guy is officially allowed to be back. Thad pulled a quick one on me and wrote. I mean, did he fill the right paperwork? I mean, I don't know what's going on. Andrew Guy. Wow. Unbelievable. Andrew Guy makes his return here. Wow. Pretending it's Merle and throwing me off on the table here too. And now we have Andrew Guy. The crowd was in a stir, but yeah. still giving a big fuck you to everybody. All right. Wow. Drink on my hands. <laughs> you guys are ready for your first question? That I'm not, Dan. You're ready for your I'm first ready. question? Here I've got listening. it for you. First question. <laughs> it's in the category of Denzel Washington. Mm. What action crime comedy stars Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg? You've got to be impressed with Ethan and Viviani. My yeah, God. It, 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 what a run. Brand's Five, there with the great four, three, three two, two, one. Pens down, Ethan. Two guns. Yes, Andrew. Didn't have it. Didn't have it. Craig. Your team action, though. Two guns. Oh. Yes. Right. Oh. Didn't get it. Didn't right, have Brand's it. First, first run. Miss. Two guns. All so, right, Brienne's first so miss. So Andrew but. and Brienne missed there, and that was Brienne's first miss. I can't believe I'm still here. Questions. Okay. Bad move. All right. Man. All right. Bad Bad Shh. Here we go. <laughs> Second question. Category is Sly and Arnie films. Ooh, Sly good. and good. Arnie good. films. What Desperate Housewife star played Tango's sister Kiki in the film Tango and Cash? If anyone from Hollywood is listening, I Five, want to pitch a sequel called Tango four, versus Cash. Three, two, <laughs> it's good one. Idea. Pens you. down. Drew. Fuck. Uh, nope. Nope. Greg. Uh, Terry Hatcher? That's correct. Yes. Terry Hatcher. That's yep. correct. Terry Hatcher. Yep. That's correct. Terry Hatcher. You got it. Okay. Look at that structure. Uh, early on three guys. Guy, zero, two. <laughs> guys in a hole here. Movie quotes. Movie quotes. In The Fugitive, what was U.S. Marshal Samuel Gerard's response to Dr. Kimball when Kimball said, I didn't kill my wife? A lot of fugitive questions today. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that was the second. That's a lot for me. <laughs> <laughs> Five, four. Three, two, one, pens down, please, and Greg. That's Brian. Um, I'm Greg, yeah. Sorry, Greg. I don't care. Yes. Ooh. I don't care. Yes. I don't care. Ethan. I, I don't care. <laughs> Andrew. I don't care. Okay, All Irwin, right. three. Guy, one. Alba, three. Bibiani, three. And Chandler, two. Andrew Guy needs to left. get this next one here. <laughs> <laughs> Your next question comes from the category of Tarantino. <gasps> Name two of the code names given to the deadly viper assassins in Kill Bill Volume 1. Good question. Wow. This is intense here. Drew really needs this. This is big. And five. Oh. Four. Oh. Repeat the question three times. Nope. Can't do it. Three, <laughs> two, uh, one. Pens down. Brienne. Black Mamba and Copperhead. That's correct. That's correct. Oh. Black Mamba and Copperhead. Yep. He's right. Right. I don't have it. <laughs> I don't have uh, it. Black Mamba no. and Copperhead. You're all right. No. Me and too. Black Mamba and Copperhead. Oh. Everybody oh. got it except <laughs> Ethan. Wow. So Ethan, oh, Ethan Irwin. So Andrew Guy has wow. two. Andrew Guy can get himself 
right you back in and possibly eliminate or if Irwin and Chandler miss Fuck. and Guy gets it right, he'll eliminate the, yeah. the two of them. Okay. All right. Here Final question of the round is in the category of Natalie Portman. Natalie Natalie! Portman. Natalie! 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 All right. Copster is just looking up. All right. In Beautiful <laughs> Girls. Natalie Portman plays 13-year-old Marty, who has a crush on an adult next-door neighbor, Willie Conway. Who played Willie in the film? Pete Drove Five. With a great song on that soundtrack. Four. It's true. Three. Three. Two. two. <laughs> one. Pens this down. Bibs. I think I'm wrong. Matt Dillon? No. Ring correct. Ethan. Ethan. Timothy Hutton. That's yes. correct. I didn't have it. Didn't have didn't it. Have Greg. Have it. Sam Levine. It's all right. And Bria. Timothy Hutton. Got it. All right. All right. So with oh, that, man. Andrew Guy has been He's good to be back. He's good to be back. But he's back. Team Action is back. Andrew Guy is back. Just like Not that. the return he wanted, oh, but. No, no but I mean, what a table to go up and Exactly. Look like Alba with a nice little show there, watched too. Them. All right. Our, so we have Hi, everyone. one final competitor left. Oh, the God. winner of this round will go on to face Weird. anyone of their choosing for a championship match. Their final opponent. <sighs> representing Collider, making her Schmodown debut. Yes! Wendy! Yeah. 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 She did it, 48 competitors. And she's in there, wow. she's got one shot. The winner of this table is gonna win and she wow. does so much behind the scenes here. She did that awesome oh, yeah. promo we just yeah. did. Well, I, mean, I mean, well, you look at everyone up. I mean, both she, she Brienne and Wendy. Okay. Brienne charged, obviously, of the Patreon. And Wendy, obviously, kicking ass today, helping out and running this whole entire event backstage with the competitors. And now, here we I'm, go. I'm surprised I'm she's not exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> the final, the final <laughs> round. The final round. <laughs> oh question. Question. From the category of Middle Earth. Oh, What's the subtitle of the first Hobbit film? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Bibiani, pens down. And Ethan, what do you got? Unexpected journey. Okay, unexpected journey. Wendy. <laughs> a long journey. No, Ethan got it right. Oh. I got a journey's end. No. An unexpected journey. Ethan and Brienne, yes. I spaced. Didn't have it. So Whoa. Ethan and Brienne. Yeah. Ethan has won. Brienne won. And we're going to, wow. I'm just glad I got this far. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Next, Next question yeah. comes yep. from the category of Fincher films. Oh. Of what films? Fincher. Fincher, Fincher, Fincher films. films. Great. What's in the box? The film Zodiac primarily takes place in what West Coast U.S. city? Five? No, no, no. Four? Three, two, one. Okay, so Wendy. I've never seen this film, so uh, L.A.? No. That is incorrect. Is it San Francisco? That's yes, correct. Correct. San Francisco. Correct. Correct. San, Francisco. San Francisco. Ethan. Frisco. All right. All so right. Frisco. Ethan, two. Chandler, two. Alba and Bibiani. Okay. All next right. question. Third question in this final round. Third question in this final round. Category <laughs> is dance. <laughs> it's all you, Brian. Dance, nice. dance. We'll see, we'll see. What was the full name of Jennifer Grey's character in the 1987 oh film God. Dirty Dancing? Oh, full name. Look. Do you need first and last yeah. name? Yeah. Yes. Full name. Fuck me. That's and nickname. Got it. Five. <laughs> that was not her four, name. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Greg. Nothing. Nothing. nothing, nothing. Brianne. Francis Baby Houseman. Yes. yes. Correct. Yeah. And baby oh, I know this baby. No. Baby Orbach. No. no. <laughs> oh, I thought it was Francis Baby. No. no. So Chandler now with a one point lead Ooh. Ooh. as wow. we get to our next category of Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Matthew, Matthew McConaughey played businessman Kenny Wells in this 2016 crime drama. One question left after this. And five, four, three, two, one. Brienne. Gold? Correct. Correct. Ethan. Gold. Correct. Oh, I got it. 
No. Brandy. Geppetto. And I guess Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> and with that, that's the, it. The winner of the yeah. 2000. <laughs> The last one, who had the last one? You? I did. All right. Hey, just and just for stats, just for stats, hey, Brienne, just for stats, this is just for Brienne. We're gonna ask you one last question. This is just to see if you can get a perfect five. It doesn't matter either way. Go ahead. Sure. You got this. A middle-aged college professor becomes infatuated with a 14-year-old nymphet in what Kubrick film? Kubrick. Lolita. She would have done five points. Five points. Wow. Five, five <laughs> Brianne Chandler has either won a shot for herself to get a title shot. She can give it to anyone she wants. <coughs> she Mr. can give it to a team. She can do whatever she wants as far as titles go. What will she do? Now, the other announcement is William Bibiani has gone the most amount of rounds we've ever seen. William Bibiani has earned a number one contender shot of anything he wants. William Bibiani has proven his knowledge. In the free for all, he has earned a number one contender shot, so you can choose anything that you want. So, and how about Ethan Irwin as Ethan well? Made a foul Ethan state Irwin, foul. right there, right there until the end, the last round. Ethan almost took it, but that's it. So you're gonna have a hell of a job here talking to a bunch <sighs> of these competitors. Your 2018 free for all winner. Say it with me, Miss Movies, Brianne Chandler wins the whole thing. Wow. There you go, guys. Wow. There it is. So um, we're going to talk to you right now. <laughs> go ahead and talk to some of the competitors, Jen. And All right, I got to go. We'll, we'll see you in a little bit. Ken, as Jen takes off, wow. we saw an absolute battle here all the way around. The story, the main story, is obviously Bibiani versus Irwin. I think that we're going to want to maybe see what Irwin's going to do with his career because yeah. Who's not going to want to see him? Well, anymore? yeah, that is definitely one of the highlights to come out of this. But yeah. you got Miss Movies who had left this game. We yeah. didn't know where she was going. She gets in a car with Kalinowski, and right they they ride off out out of the scene here. And now she is back with some perfect rounds. Comes in late. That is that is a great position. But a lot of people come in late. You have to take advantage well, of you that. You said it. You yeah. said it. The thing was, it wasn't a matter of oh she got a late spot. She hit five. Yeah, five, three times because that last round she hit a five. Yeah, I don't know if we aired the, her answering it or not. The last question, but we asked her her final one, which would have been a Kubrick question, and she got it. Yeah, so she was perfect three times out of the four or five rounds she was in it. She earned it. She yep. earned it. She fought against it because Bibiani was just fighting off every single person. Irwin fighting off every single person. What is Brianne Chandler gonna do with that spot? We're gonna find out. Here we go. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? I know, I was there, and now I'm here. And now I'm here with Miss Movies, Brienne Chandler. Oh my god, you've got to be riding a crazy high right now. It's uh, more shock than <laughs> high. It's like, what just happened? Because I assumed that the last round, and this is just because I wasn't paying attention, I thought the last round, like, you had to pick off each person one by one. Like, the lowest people would still keep leaving, but no new people would be coming. So I didn't realize that the highest score would be the one that would be taking it. I mean, you came out to that table with monsters sitting at that table. I mean, Ethan Irvin had already been in there 15, you know, 15 rounds, went 15 rounds. Viviani went 21. And then I saw you kind of freak out a little bit when you thought Merle was coming out. I what went little, through your head right then and there? I was a little nervous that Dan was going to be entering the ring and then that would be it. We would all just go home. That would be like, all right, we're, I'm gonna stand up. We had and a good leave. run. We had we a good did run. have a good run. <laughs> You only missed one question. Yes, I, I've in never. In four rounds. I don't even know two guns. I know the way of the gun, which is a great movie, by the way. Uh, but I don't know two guns. I've never seen it. Heard of it maybe once. I don't know. So I know like this has got to mean a lot to you because you've taken a step back and you haven't been competing. Like you got to tell me, like, what does this feel like right now? Right now, it feels uh, pretty exciting, pretty great, uh, because I have taken that step back, but maybe that's why, because now I've had more time to study, <laughs> you know, for my return at some point. So, I don't know. It's, I'm, I mean, I know that it feels great. It feels great, but I just feel like I got a little lucky with my number and, you know. Does this mean you might be making a comeback? 
to competition. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here from for years. Is that what's gonna? Be? We're gonna. Uh, LL Cool J will now be my entrance music. Absolutely. <laughs> but you do have a title shot now. I have a title shot now. Um, what are you gonna do with it? I've decided that I'm gonna do a Star Wars match against Sam Witwer. I know nothing about Star Wars except for maybe two things, one of which you saw. Um, but it's just so I can sit across the table from Sam Witwer. So that's what I'm gonna do. You and Mark and Draco. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but really, uh, I have no thought about it at this present time because I'm just kinda gonna weigh my options. Weigh my you options. You might not share it with like a certain, you know, this, I Mr. earned Kalinowski. this myself, so I feel like this is my time. All right. Yes. I love that answer, Brian. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for joining me, and congratulations. Thank you. I really hope you enjoy this win. I do enjoy this win. Go get your pom-poms. All right. Ha! Here with Mark Riley. Mark, the crowd was so excited to see you. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. A little rusty. A little rusty for your first time back, but it was great to see you back. Are you back? No. No, that was fun. Uh, Rusty, arguably, those were some hard questions. They I really wish, were. I wish I had a, a more consistent return. I wish I had a better round of questions. But, you know, with the free-for-all, you can't ask for that. So I applaud the competitors. I applaud Miss Movies. I applaud everything that's going on here. But uh, it was nice to compete. If anything, I'll come back next free-for-all. Oh. Just, just to have some fun. But I'm definitely, you know, that was... You sure we can't talk you on it? Yeah, it was just it was just something I wanted to do. It was very last minute. I wanted to come in and have some fun. And uh, I wanted to last a little longer. You know, those questions were hard in my round. They were. Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have maybe thrown me a Jaws question or something. It's not know. how the game works, no, man. maybe me I'm just Superman. I'm just Star reading Wars. with a smile. Yeah, I know. I get it. Because as a producer on this as well, I, I, you get so many questions. And that's what's great about this game is that you never know who's gonna win and as the results have proven. Well, thank you so much for coming back. Oh, the fans pleasure. were so fun. excited to see you. It was and fun just to have that taste again, but uh, feel we'll Feel free see to what stop happens. by anytime. Oh, okay, sounds good. <laughs> I'm here with Team Action. Andrew, it, it's great for you to be back. Thanks, Jessica, it's great to see Did you miss me? No, no, yes. I did What happened to Dan Merle? Okay, first of all, she did miss me. She came to visit me when I was in jail. And second of all, Dan Merle's <laughs> dead. And that you can also thank me for that. You know this is being recorded, right? Yeah. No, it's good. You guys will never find him. You'll never find the body. Oh yeah. my God! You had the fans so fooled when they hit his music and you came out. Yeah, I bet that table was pretty happy that it wasn't Dan, honestly, when I came out. But fuck them. I'm back. Team Action's back, and we're gonna win the belt the old-fashioned way. Maybe we'll uh, recruit. Hey, maybe we'll recruit Miss Movies. Yeah. See if she wants to throw that title shot at a couple of thoroughbreds. Look, it's uh, it was a good match today. Yeah. Who gives a shit about the free for all? You don't unless you win it. It just doesn't go on the fucking record. But there's no movies in jail. Okay. So I I couldn't study. Yeah. I just drank and shanked people. Yeah. Dan watched a lot of black and white episodes of Mash. You so. did hang in there for quite a while at the table. Tell me, what were you feeling? Uh, look. <laughs> There's only one thing I'm feeling, only one thing to say. The Jameson? No, I beat Roca. I beat the old bastard, uh, and he's uh, him. put him out to pasture, you know? You beat my dad down. I loved it. Yeah, right. That was beautiful. He yeah. deserved that. He deserved that, by the he way. He did. He was lucky that he finished early because he had to go work his shift over at uh, Chili's, you know? El Pollo, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, switched. Yeah, Couldn't hold one. down the first one. All right, anyway, thanks a lot, Jess. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. No, and, we're uh, back. We're yeah. back. I want a fucking team. I want a team belt. I don't know who we're challenging, but we're fucking coming for you, and we're going to take it. Peace. Where's the fucking belt? Where's the fucking belt? Mike? Ethan Irwin, that was an amazing rookie performance. <sighs> Thank you. How are you feeling? I, I was. I, that was crazy. It was. It was ridiculous. It was. It was a lot of fun. I mean, to see all these people I've been watching. It's like being like a high stakes poker tournament. To end up at the final table was just really amazing. Yeah, you came in. You lasted 15 rounds. Tell me what's going through your head, you know, as you keep knocking people down one by one by one, sometimes by twos. I, I, you know what? I was really just, this is stupid to say, but I was just playing against myself. I was just, you know, I, it was just, if it's in there. And there were some tough questions. There was, it, it was really, it was great. It was incredibly exciting. Uh, you know, my wife also got to uh, participate. She, she played earlier. I really wanted to go head to head with her, but next time. It was, uh, but it was great. It was a lot of fun. Really great people. Bibiani, of course, great. Brienne, incredible. So... So what's next for you? What can we expect? I'll be back. What do you want though? We're gonna do, we're doing teams. We doing inner geekdom singles. I'm, I'm doing it all. I want to. I'm. I'm. I want the title in every single one of those. 
If, if this is like my first time out, basically, I feel like I can really like, I can do it. I can once go, you get a I taste of it, once you get a taste of it, it's just addictive, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, no, it's really, it's really amazing. So, and the, and the team and the crew here, really exceptional. Thanks. So, thank we you. We had such a great time having you here today. Congratulations on a wonderful day, and we hope to see you back soon. Thank you, you will. <sighs> Deep breaths. I can't believe you stood that whole time, man. Oh, you know what? Honestly, like, I think that was like, oh God. I think that kept me going. Like, it kept, kept me on, on, it kept me from like, ever feeling tired. You know, like I had to like stay up and stay motivated. I was sucking down coffee that entire time. Like I, if I had sat down for a second, I think I would have fallen asleep. You went 21 rounds. It's that is lot. incredible. It's a lot, it's a lot of rounds. I honestly, I just wanted to put on a respectable showing. You know, when you go in like a 20, Sorry, you think, you, make yeah. A quick announcement real quick. I forgot to do this, it's gonna be weird when it cuts back. Congratulations, you're officially the free for all MVP this year. Oh my Congrats. God, thank you. I'm crazy. <laughs> Neat. You're learning stuff just like me. All right, it's cool. Congratulations, though. You had Thank an amazing you. showing, and you get the surprise number one contender match. Oh, God. And uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do with that right now. I'm actually like, I'm going to sit on that for a little bit. Obviously, I would love to a singles contender match. Obviously, I'd love a team uh, match, uh, but I don't know. I might whip that out as a surprise at some point, or I might just tell everybody on Twitter. I don't know. I have some time. Um, but yeah, no, honestly, like, again, I, I was 20th. I did not think I was going to make it to the end. I thought I was hoping to last some rounds and just be respectable. But like, yeah, I came like within a hair's breadth of, of actually winning this thing. And uh, that's the good kind of losing. Absolutely. <laughs> you, know? you, you and really Ethan great. were just head to head for most of the day. How seems. good is Ethan? So great. Holy cow, where has he been? We needed you in the, where are you, Ethan? Come back. We need you in the league. He's so good. He's so incredible. And I, I'm, I'm a little nervous, actually, when it's not, you know, when there aren't, this isn't it's like this buffer where we just have to, both of us, be better than someone else. Like, just me and Ethan, that'd be a tough match. Mm -hmm. That's nerve-wracking. Anyone against Ethan is going to be a tough match. You could start building a faction. Uh, we have a faction. But, like, you can add to it. We, we could add to it. Ethan, uh, uh, call Ricky. Um, I don't have his number. Uh, he changed it, How and he's been he's been AWOL for a while. Actually, we have not seen him for a bit. Doesn't sound like a great faction. No, it's, you know what? It's, it's... All right. So as you see in that interview with Jen Sturger, Brianne saying, "I don't really know who I'm gonna either. Am, am I gonna give it away? Am I not going to give it away? Am I gonna have it for myself? Will she go for the singles? She's back. Remember, she mm -hmm. had taken off. Yeah. From she was retired. Yep. She was no longer be. We've seen a lot of people come back." We saw Mark Riley come back. We saw Andrew Guy come back. Mark Riley in the interview was basically saying that we, we you know, we, we saw Finstock come back. Don't you forget Finstock that? Finstock come back as well. But this was there was so much going on here. It yeah. was amazing. It was a great. It was a great fight all the way through. A lot of great competitors. This was one to for the ages. Absolutely, the free for all is an amazing event because so many storylines can break out of this. So many feuds yep. can begin, and also future champion champions can begin their path to being crowned. It starts here and what a performance and Miss Movies steals the show with a big victory. Well it's true it's like what's going to happen now I mean you've got Emma Five still has not used that number one contender spot yet right. she still can use that. Bibiani's got a number one contender spot of anything he wants to use and now Brianne Chandler has a title shot not not a not a number one contender shot she's got a full on title shot and she can use it whenever she wants mm -hmm. so what's going to happen this is this just set the stage completely who knows what's going to happen will Brianne Chandler go for a shot herself will she put together a team and give them a title shot will she that what what will Brienne do there's so many questions what should she do you guys comment let us know and make sure you join the patreon that's right go and join the patreon link is in the description right now i'd like to thank ken knapsack jen sturger the whole crew and you guys for watching thank you for commenting and liking and we'll catch you next time uh yeah 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 come on Oh, hey, hey Brienne! It's the free Hello. for all winner! Holy crap! It's so good to see you. I'm so Great to see you. so happy you won. I, I always I always knew you were gonna do this. As soon as you walked on, I was like, if I was a betting man and I had no involvement in the league and I could actually bet legally, I would have put some money on this. And you did it. I'm so happy for you. Okay, so well happy. wow.
Wow. What, Me, what, of all people. You, of all sure, people. I'm sure. so glad you're in this. Totally I'm so believable. happy. And now you get to, now you get your prize. You get all, you get all the things that we've, we've always said. The, the winner of the free-for-all gets their shot. And, and I'm so happy that you get your shot. This is I'm great. happy I get my shot, too. And along with that, I know you're a contract man. I am. I drew up my own contract agreement. Oh, that's so sweet. It basically states that yeah. uh, the title belt... Challenge is mine. Okay. I can use it for singles. I could use it for teams. I could use it for inner geekdom. I could use it for Star Wars. Yeah. And I can take as much time as I'd like. Yeah. I've yeah. already signed it. Yeah. But okay. I, I went ahead and put you know your names down there, and all you'd have to do is sign. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We've all we we've known this since last year, yeah. since the first free for all. This has always been what it is. If I want to makes... gift it to someone, I can. Yeah. I mean, these, this is pretty standard. I'm I'm just so I'm so touched that you made it in the contract. That makes me so happy. So hold on, hold on one second. That's in today's date. There you go. Oh, right. this is so great. I'm so happy for you. Well, thank you. Um, yeah. Before I go, I'm going to make a copy for you. Yes, please do. do yeah, you just want send it over. Single yeah, or double sided? I'm sorry, what? I can copy it double sided. There's like, no, like the there's same a, thing? No, no, there's another side to it. Wait, what? Yeah. What is that? You sign the back of the contract. Uh, this is the front of the contract. Wait a second. That's not. So, wait a second. But I'm just going to go make a copy no, right no, now. No, no, no. What is it? What? What is that? What did you, what's on the front of the contract? Well, you know, I run the Patreon, right? Yeah. So here's what I've decided. Okay. Once we get to 2,100 patrons, that's 2,100, just in case you need that broken down for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to have a commissioner, a new commissioner for one week. Did Harlow put you up to this? I swear to God, oh, I told listen, you. Listen, you guys can take care of that on your own. I don't really care about your beef. This is uh, at 2,100 patrons, Tom Dagnino is going to be... Commissioner for a week. What? No, you can't do that. See ya. Is this what the, is this about the grudge from the thing? 